Hey guys, Bill McDonald here. Gonna go through my ride here today. This is my ride, the Ranger Z521L, 21 footer. You know, fuel wise, here we are, 52 gallons of fuel, sitting on a tandem axle trailer. Got my race line wheels, my general tires there. Work our way on back here. Power poles, eight foot blades, a must have. Jack plate. Bob's Machine Shop, by far the fastest plate out there, the most durable plate out there. G2, Evinrude 250, all the power that I need right there. It's good to go, ready to rumble. I like to move on up through here. Seats, you know, these are spring ride seats. They're adjustable, forward and back. You know, they're a wraparound seat, the most comfortable seat out there by far on the boats right now. Come on up here. God, here's the real power plant. This is my Garmin Force trolling motor. You know, this is a must have. You know, it's a brushless trolling motor. It's a 36 volt or 24 volt, whichever your battery system is. That, or the trolling motor will adjust automatically to that. I got my two 10 inch 106 SVs up there. One light scope, one's for regular mapping. Here's a new mount for the perspective view. It's got all the different adjustments on it. So if I want to do the perspective views, how it's set up right now, it's right there. If I decide I want to set it up and go to, uh, let me adjust it right here. So right there is my uh, forward view, ready to go on the live scope. If I want to go back to perspective view, I just turn it back. It's got the indicators on there. Right there, I'm back to perspective view. That quick and simple, you can change your live scope that quick. I've got my trick step mount right here. So I'm golden here walking up and down into the boat. Not only does trick step make the step, Mark Pizer with trick step makes my mounts as well. So real simple, real quick, real easy. These Echo Ultras that I run here is a dynamite looking deal. If I wanna go into a motel, I wanna take my units with me, that's how quick they pop off. Real quick, real simple, real easy. Slide them back in there. Pop them back in, you're locked in, ready to go. Got my weapons out. You can see they're laying there on the deck already. We'll start right here on this box here first. You know, here's a box right here. I keep my tools right here. There's all my hooks are sitting right here, first and foremost. My vibrating jigs right there. So all those are thunder crickets in there, sitting ready to go. Ned baits, ready to rumble right there clean screen cleaner in there line you know i got different cigar lines in here everything cigar that i throw so i take tops off my socks cut them up protect that line while you're there keeps everything safe and secure there's a nice roll of invis ups there's some tatsu in there some smackdown ready to go keep that there now like i said as i'm sitting here i retie most of my stuff sitting right here so I got a line cutter that's sitting right here on the console. So I can cut my line real quick, or I got a pair of snips right there. My needle nose, got my side cuts, another pair of scissors right there. Rapid fishing to solution tools right there. Right there's the bump board. Usually I hope you don't have to use a bump board. You just catch your big ones and put them in the back back here. Come over here to this side. You know, life jackets. Keep a couple life jackets, my Grundon's rain suits right there, my string covers are right there. Sealed watertight box right there. I got another Garmin Burp camera in there, extra cards, extra connectors, anything that I need there. My Catch Commander scales right there. I got, you know, there's my calling beam. If everything reads the same, I can put on that calling beam. My dad made that for me. It's spot on. Uh, battery jumper right there lithium battery jumper serious paper right there you always want to make sure you got backup paper got another sealed box right here that I keep extra glasses glue lead strips rapid solutions buffs just odds and ends batteries whatnot anything that you think you'll need you can keep sealed up and dry and done to go right there move to the metal box Extra weapons, crankbaits there, a few little miscellaneous things. I got a yellow tech stick here. I can run the camera on the back. 
the uh, Torx screwdrivers there. There are a couple other screwdrivers, vice grips, minimal stuff here. More hand warmers. I don't like for my hands to get cold. And just, you know, lightweights. I got light stuff up this way. Come over to this side here. More weapons. So, thunder crickets, spinner baits, and buzz baits. Other cr baits down in there. Just miscellaneous stuff here. Everything light. Everything I try to keep in the front of the boat, I try to keep it as light as I possibly can. Cooler. There's my cooler where I keep waters and neutral grain bars and stuff like that. This other cooler down here is where I keep all my plastics. Plastics weigh a bunch. There's my favorite color. Rage bugs. My crawls and more crawls there. You know, everything you need there. Menaces. Got some ochos in there. Keep a variety of stuff right there. Come back here to the cockpit. Garmin Verb camera. I keep a Garmin Verb there running all the time. It's good to go back and watch your footage, even when you're not catching fish or even just you're just fun fishing. You want a camera, you want to run it, you want to see what you're doing. You can go back and find the mistakes that you're doing. Have your buddy watch it with you. Let him clown on you and critique you a little bit. And uh, it'll make you a better fisherman overall. I've got it wired direct in to a cigarette lighter. Got a USB port over here too as well. You know, steering wheel here is a tilt wheel, so I can set it where I want it. I got my jack plate lever here, my trim lever here, up and down. You know, I got throttle control here and a gas pedal. You know, on my smart craft gauge, I can adjust it, and that's an electric gas pedal like your car, not a hot foot. Makes it real simple and easy, and I can switch it back and forth off the smart craft if I want to go to hand throttle or not. Console box right here. Miscellaneous stuff here again. I got a battery pack, some gloves in there, extra glasses, chapstick, glass cleaner, sunscreen, a rope, just miscellaneous stuff here. Extra keys for the boxes. Gets me going there. So we work our way on back here. Start here with the live wells. BT2 vents. It's a must in my opinion. These vents here, one lets the gases out, you know, gas, a fish will immense gases in there and it's running. As air goes in here, it comes out here, and it'll run actually cooler as you go. So those are a must, in my opinion. This box here, basically keep it empty for a marshal that's with me or a co-angler, depending on what type of tournament or my buddy that's in there. Um, this one here, it's where the majority of my weight is. Got a couple extra t-shirts in there, some extra gloves. Best gloves in the world right there, so sick commitments. You know, I'm not sponsored by them, nothing like that, but they are the warmest gloves in the world right there. But this one here, you know, like I said, these will vary from tournament to tournament what I got. I got a box full of slither rigs, all my weights, all the heavy weights right there. Kind of keeps it simple. Some toboggans in there. Keep everything warm and going. Then we come back to the power plant back here. Here we are. Lithium Pro batteries are a must in my opinion. Each one of these batteries weigh 26 pounds. So by going with Lithium Pros, basically if I've got somebody in the boat, I've taken that person out of the boat. You know, if the regular batteries are 70 or 80 pounds a piece, then you're a whole lot lighter there. I got 236s in parallel. Those batteries will never ever run down that way. So I got that on that side. Over here I got 212 volts. You know, I've got one that runs everything in the boat. Runs all the crafts, runs all the aerators runs everything and then I've got another one that's hooked into my jump start if I should need it I can switch it I've never had to switch it then I got the power pole charging system coolest thing of all this thing charges unbelievable if my 36 volts start to go down it'll pull from the 12 12 starts to go down it'll pull from there when I'm running it's charging everything it's got an app on your phone you can check it you can adjust which one's shooting power to where at night when I come in on these lithiums, I plug it in, and usually within two hours, I'm 100% charged and ready to go. Extra prop, I always run an extra prop. I do that for a reason, you never know what's gonna happen. You hit something, you throw an ear off, you spin a hub, make sure you got a prop, make sure you got a hub, make sure you got a prop wrench with you, and extra cotter pins for the motor, and an extra nut, because you never know what you're gonna drop out there. Something else I do here to, to help on the charging and all that is I run a negative bus bar right here. So I take a lot of the negative, the grounds, 
and hook them onto there instead of having 14 wires stacked up on top there. And it just makes everything a whole lot better and makes it charge a whole lot better. Longevity is where everything's good on it. So basically, this is the walkthrough on my boat. So hopefully this helps you to organize and set your boat. And if you know where everything's at, then you're golden there. You know what, what's there. So if I had a real loud car, I'd drive by while you're trying to do this, but I don't. So, But, you know, like I said, just helps keep you organized, time management, more cast on the water better you are and the faster you can go so appreciate you